So, my name is Megan Jean Morris, and I'm a tattooer. Uh, this is Sarah Fable, and I also tattoo and do fine art. So, for someone like myself who's kind of come a long way in the industry, I run into like irritation because it's like the higher you get, the more serious you're supposed to be all the time. Like this morning, we were talking about tattooer, the word tattooer versus the word tattoo artist. Yeah. <laughs> and she hates it. I don't, honestly, to me, it doesn't really matter. Also, I've been in an industry like less than half of what you've been in the industry. So to True. you, some things, it's like like annoying because you've been repeating them for so long. And to me, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm not like annoyed with things yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, annoyed with things. Cause like, I think you go through phases. And when I started out, I wanted to like give credit to myself and other artists and I, I would talk to like adults and be like, I'm a tattoo artist, not a tattooer. And as I got further along, first of all, I don't need to fight for credit. Like tattooing is a serious art form. It's a great art form. If you're into it, cool. If you're not, cool. I don't have to convince anyone of anything. I'm a tattooer. It's like a nice simple word. It sounds good. It's what I do. And then the other piece of that is like, tattoo artist. I feel like so many people are like taking this career and like trying to pretend they're a fucking rock star or like... <laughs> okay, so I do agree with you on that. The one thing that bothers me about the industry is like, you still have to understand it's a customer service. Like we're nothing without our clients. They are the ones that pay our bills. Okay, there is a level at which we're artists. Mm -hmm. And so um, you want to be able to be like, have, have an opinion, have your artistic yes. input. But yeah. There is another level at which it's just calm the fuck down. Like, you're not a fucking rock star. You're not saving lives. You're a tattooer. What do you do for a living? You make tattoos. And if you don't want to make that piece, don't become insulting towards your client because that's what I've had. Even me, I've had to cancel appointments because I've had the artist call me when I was 18 and say, oh, your design looks like shit. It looks like a continent that was eaten by worms and I want it in like a burnt sienna henna st style color. And he was like, oh, well, that's the color of feces. And I'm like, I just paid my deposit and you verbally assault me on the phone the night before my appointment time. If you don't want to tattoo something, don't tattoo it. Because you have to understand that for us, it's just a client, but for that person, that memory forever, will forever be with them. So I'm right with you with these people that do have that attitude that they're better than their client, they're better than everybody else. Yeah, they there's just some weird thing, I think. Like I, it, like I said, you go through phases and eventually I just started getting irritated with this like, put us up on a pedestal all the time. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm a tattoo artist, I'm a tattoo artist. And it's like, dude, you're a fucking tattooer. So like, you do customer service, you also are an artist, but like, it's just a, it, the word has become annoying to me, I'm a tattooer. It's just, I, I, just be low key. Like I was bitching earlier about how everyone's like on this huge ego trip these days on Instagram and trying to look rich and fucking famous even if they're faking it. And I'm just like fucking low key, man. Just like understated is the coolest thing to me. I don't need to present myself like I'm a tattoo artist. I'm a fucking tattooer. And if you're interested in the subject matter at all, you're gonna know or go look at my work and find out I'm also an artist. Well, it's like, <laughs> to me, I don't, to me, it doesn't matter what. Yeah, you're not all pissed I'm off. Yeah. I'm not, I was just I'm like, like rah, 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 rah. call me a doodler. I don't know, like, I'm like, I don't care. Call me like, a doodler. If somebody would even call me a scratcher, I'd be like, whatever. That's gonna be my new handle. I like shitty things, dude, I can't help it. We're in New York, I got shit jeans on, I got shit hair, I like the shit staircase and the shit building. Like, just I like, like cats. <laughs> <laughs> you do like cats. You have so many on your Instagram. <laughs> what, what, was, what was the thing? I don't want to insult anyone specifically, but like... 
Oh yeah, how they're selling like ink in little caps now instead of like in bottles so it's safer. And I'm like, dude, like I have never gotten any problems from a tattoo. The only people I know who got problems from a tattoo were in jail and that was hep hepatitis. Um, but like if there's a person who's such a sloppy fucking artist that they're touching ink bottles with bloody gloves. I have stories. That person's gonna cause problems whether their ink comes in a little cap or not. So uh, what I agree with you is I think like a lot of the times you see people that think that the quality of your pro products that you do the work with is what determines how good you are. There's some truth to it. Fair enough that you find the right inks in the right machine but that's all you need. You just need one. It's fine. You need one thing that works for you and that's it. You don't need you gadgets. Need a good machine. Yeah, you don't need gadgets you need good needles. and like all these mumbo jumbo. It's pretty simple. And um, it's super simple. Cavemen simple. were doing it. It's and like literally very fucking simple. I agree. And then like you said, it's not the machine, but it's the people. So you can have the best laws, the best regulations, the best machines, the best studio, but the one common denominator in when you have any issues with tattoos, hygiene, or anything like that is the person conducting yeah. the tattoo. Because yeah. you can have all the best um, protective gear and whatnot and machines, but then you have this sloppy ass hat that just like doesn't care and doesn't put effort in, yeah. thinks he's a rock star. He's gonna like put a little turd here and it's like... With really the, expensive, newest everything. And it's like... Like you don't... It's not the machine, dude. What's it's up? you. What's up? If a person inquires something that I know that I don't want to do, I always still am really grateful and I thank people and I'm sort of like, hey, if you wanna... You're so grateful. You're so grateful. I'm so grateful. You're all like for calm everything. and happy and peaceful. And I'm, I'm just like, I'm like, I'm kind of like a grumpy motherfucker. But then, in the moment, I really am very interested in like what my person needs and what it is that they're trying to say. And that's that's like really hearing people. Yeah. And that is a a genuine real thing that like i guess it's why you know my clients do do find like something valuable about having me do work with them um but i'm mostly annoyed like most of the time but <laughs> see except for last, when i get related to like my people the last two days we worked together and we did a collaboration piece on this girl called amanda that i worked on before and i've done a collaboration on her before um and you were so professional it was like actually the easiest collaboration i've done because so you cool we really enhanced each other's styles and even if you say you're grumpy you're one of the most professional people i worked with and just you really care that the tattoo comes out good and that's yeah. what i miss about some artists it's like fair enough when somebody says like i never mess up you are gonna mess up. There's gonna be some poopy ass tattoos that you're gonna do. Cause there's so many factors. You're working on a living skin. You don't know how that person's gonna take care of his skin. You don't know what skin conditions they have. They don't know they, you don't I know did their mess genetics. Up. I'm super honest too. Like when I'm tattooing, I love watching what happens when I tell my client that I messed up. Cause it's so funny. What's interesting is that people pick up on energy. Mm -hmm. And the thing about like, if you're a good artist, a mess up is not necessarily, usually it's not a big deal. It's kind of shitty if you color like the white stripe red in the flag and you meant to leave that one white and that's like poopers. That's a pretty big mess up. But like in general, if like I was doing the face on our collab and like whatever, the stencil on the second day was all smudgy and like she was in this weird position where the face was warped. Mm -hmm. And so I trusted like a weird mark and when she sat up, I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> That's not where her lip goes, actually. And um, But I tell the client I messed up, and if you say it in a way that's just honest, um, they pick up on your confidence and that I'm not, like I wasn't scared. This is I was a just like, okay. I want to add a disclaimer. 
She didn't really fuck up, okay? You're the only one that saw that. <laughs> it was completely fucked up. So I had to adjust, but as an artist, you know, you know how to work foreground, background. All I had to do is adjust a bunch of levels and then I could change just hide what was there and bring out darkness where it was supposed to be. So like what's cool about being a good artist is that art is all about fuck ups. Art's not even a real thing. All it is, is you just keep working on it until it looks good. It's a tweaking of other people's fuck ups. It's a tweaking, it's a, it is fucked up. As Soon as you start a piece of art, it looks shitty until you're done. So the whole time it's not good until you're done. So for me, yeah, I mean, it's like ugly, 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 ugly. In fact, I try not to even look at my tattoos too carefully until, until they're at a point where they start to look good because you'll get freaked out, especially with realism. Yeah. This is different than illustrative oh, because yeah. your line work oh, yeah. looks nice. Honestly, like, I don't even, I just zone out when I tattoo. I, I just zone out. <laughs> and then I'm like, it's finished and I'm like, Oh wow, that's a totally a rose. It's weird because my clients were like, how's it looking? And I'm like, I'm my first reaction is irritated because <laughs> I'm irritated all the time. So they're like, how's it looking? And I'm like, like, do you, what? I don't know. Like, I'm not looking like at your tattoo. I'm just thinking about, okay, I have to do this. And then I know I have to do that. And then I know I have to do this. I'm not standing back and taking in the piece of art because it looks sh like shit right now. It's not done. So that will just freak me out. See, I'm like used to that when you tattoo, you have a bitch face. Yeah. And I can't stop smiling because every day that I work, <laughs> I'm so happy that I have a job. Oh my God. I'm not. I'm in pain until the tattoo starts looking good. I'm I like, literally, I'm like, I'm like fucking super unhappy <laughs> until the end of the tattoo. I'm just like straight up smiling. And sometimes I do the most dumb is like, I'll like stop clapping my hands when I'm like, I'll do like a really fun spot and it looks really good. And I'm like, ooh, and they're like, what's up? And I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I think you yeah. heard me say like, I'm so excited and I'm so happy like 20 times. Yeah, it, the, again though, for real, that's a style difference. Yeah. Because your little bird, that head looked beautiful in your line, because with lining and illustrative stuff, you can get a section done and it looks great. But with realism, yeah, it's just like developing an oil painting, a realistic oil painting. You're, do, you're doing the whole thing usually at once, unless you're like, Nico, some some of the realistic tattooers, Carlos Rojas, like those guys like tattoo like a printer. Um, but still, it's just such a, you're building skin tones, you're building, it takes a while before anything actually looks good. But see, like you say that, and I looked at your process, I'm like, we're literally sitting this close to each other and there's yeah. Amanda in front of us. And I'm looking at your stuff the entire day and I'm like, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. She's so much better than I am. Look at that. Look at that freaking shadow in there. She's so great. And I'm like, in halfway through the day, I'm like texting like, oh man, I suck so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, it's and then I'm like looking yourself. at you and then you're like, oh, it's not gonna, it doesn't look good until it's finished. And I'm like, Okay, you just did an eyelash. That eyelash is great. Oh, and yeah. I, if I, but in my head, I'm like, I still need to do this to the eyelash, but I have to let it settle. I'm gonna go hit the cheek first, and I'll bring out my liner at the end, and I'll fix it. Like, see, and that's see. in your head, and yeah. you're not seeing the beauty in the moment of building it up. Now I'm grouchy and excited for the journey <laughs> of the tattoo you're doing. I'm about the destination. I'm a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> I am like. Let's go hug trees. Everybody have cats. You are like all pe even like you're all like oh, no. <laughs> like peaceful. She put on like a meditation thing before bed last night. Yeah, <laughs> I would put this meditation thing on and I turn around. It's like, how did you like it? And she's like, asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was like out. <laughs> it worked. talking about we're kind of like two like weird yin and yangs but we fit really well together yeah i was happy when we switched sides and uh the camilla roca stopped in um i think that's her last name she's 
she stopped by and she said it perfectly. I went on to your like line work and I, with my shading, I was adding volume. Mm -hmm. And then you came over to my shading and added like detail and crispy, like beautiful fine line, line yep. work, fine lines, yeah. And then the whole tattoo felt like, for a collab, I think that it's awesome that you can tell two artists worked on this. You can see our hand in all of it. Yeah. But it doesn't look like I did half and you did the other half. Especially like the night before, like just like sitting there together and photoshopping all these files together and like that was and then fun. I was like you were doing first and I was doing first and then you looked at the stuff and you're like, can you just do my side too? I wanted her to do the animal on my side because yeah. she's I, I like laid out the faces and then She's really good with animals, and um, she put this beautiful bird. Secretary. Sec Sec Secretary? Secretary right? Yeah, secretary. So I was like, yo, do my, because witches have like a, what's it called? It's a pet of some sort. There's a name. You know why, where that comes from? Because back in the day when people believed the earth was flat, they believed there were holes in the dome of the earth, and witches would have pets that were small enough to go through those holes to the other side to the underworld. So those animals oh, would go so through small. and find messages for them. Cool. You know I wish I could remember the name of these things. Familiars? Yes, a familiar. Ooh, I love that. You like look like that Sabrina the witch from like that old show. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so I got a weasel. And Sarah was gonna put it together for me so kindly. And I looked over and um, I guess she had Googled foxtail oh because like actual weasels have like nubs, like little tiny. And, and um, yeah, for a reference on my side of this paper, <laughs> she's got this beautiful white secretary bird and a butt plug. <laughs> The fucking fox tail coming out of it. I was like, it, what are you doing to my side? Because like, it's like curving like this. And so the face is like this. And the butt plug is like, boing. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. Thanks for working on my side. <laughs> but it's the best fox tail references. Yeah. Unfortunately, are butt plugs. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was a really good reference. We just had to Photoshop out the plug metal. Metallic titanium butt plug. <laughs> I think next time we're gonna try one that's shorter. Yeah. And I work on it for four hours and then you work on it for four hours. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Super excited. Yeah, but I, I get excited about everything. I wonder if we should try and keep the theme the same. Like have a theme yeah. with witches. I think we should do that. So that as we I'm have more and excited. more collabs, like they kind of create a little body of work between us. That'd be so cool. I'd, I'm so down for that. As if we were artists, but we're really just tattooers. It's the witch's coven. Yeah. <laughs>